It was a while ago. I do remember. It was around 1436, Midsummer's Night. At this point in time, there were no days, no months. We didn't even have clocks or watches. We couldn't tell time. Anyways, this one particular day, I found something peculiar on the grounds. At this point in time, there were no words to describe what this object was. There wasn't even the word called object, but it was a Pokemon card. We didn't even know what to call this, but it was so shiny. At that point, shiny wasn't even a word, but instead beautiful meant shiny. Beautiful meant, meant bright, along with what it already meant. Anyways, I picked up this mint condition card off the ground that it had laid upon. I gandered at the card for hours. It had been the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. It was a bicycle trainer card from Boundaries Crossed. <sighs> for those of you who don't know, Boundaries Crossed is a, a complete set of Pokemon cards. Of course! At this, at this particular time, there wasn't a single clue of what entertainment was, or collecting was. There was nothing. We didn't even have coins. We just traded yarn for more yarn, and dirt for more dirt. But this was clearly a relic that I had discovered, despite not having the word relic. I mean, come on, you have to remember, this was just during the time that a little over 1,500 years after the last dinosaur was extinguished. And once people saw what I had, they gathered around me and called me a magician. They knew that card didn't just appear. They looked in awe at my incredible made-up powers that they made up, not I. Every want, everyone wanted in on the stupid secret, but it wasn't a secret. I was telling the truth the whole time. But I told them I was merely just a peasant who found such a relic. Over the next few passings, months, the village just couldn't take my lies anymore. They wanted to know where this object came from. They wanted to know how I came to possess this relic. And they just couldn't take it anymore. They thought I was lying, though I was being honest. I ended up being stoned. I didn't get stoned. I got stoned. And exiled while they stole my beautiful finding. They stoned me until I ran out of town. But I did not leave quietly. I doused the village with gas on my way. Little did I know I accidentally left dynamite stick in my uh, pocket and while there was a trail of gas that I left behind, I had no idea that the trail of gas got on my clothing as well. Oh, this was an epic failure of this time. We didn't call it clothing back then. We called them cloths. We didn't wear clothing. We wore cloths. We didn't have an ing back then. The town burst in flames as I laughed and laughed. As the villages, the villagers, the peasants just ran out the other side. As I stood there, I felt a sensation of about 400 degrees come upon my leg. As I was just laughing and laughing, ignoring the intense pain, but I could still feel the pain. Then, after I was severely burnt, I remembered my dynamite stick, but I had forgotten my hand was on fire. And when I reached down into my pocket to get the dynamite stick, boom, 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 I was dead on the scene. And the last thing I remembered was, it was just, it was just a fucking Pokemon card. Back then, we didn't even have the word called fucking. That was the worst death I have ever, I have ever faced.